Hey guys, welcome back to another movie review. Hope you guys enjoyed my Quiet Place Part 2 movie review, which is out now. Um, this review will be posted on Saturday, uh, because with the Quiet Place Part 2, there was also another big release that came out this weekend, and that would be Cruella, and that's what we're reviewing today. Um, now, uh, I'll be doing another collab video of some sorts, um, and it'll ha have some trailer reviews in there. I want to ask you guys, do you guys want to do some trailer reactions? I mean, I filmed one of them, and uh, I didn't uh, know if I wanted to post it. By the way, my, my cat is right there. Hi, Hi. So don't <laughs> just, if you notice the cat, just, you know, just got a little cat running around. But, um, but um, I wanted to ask if you guys wanted me to do some trailer reactions because I'm willing to do some. Um, I just, uh, uh, I just want to know if that, that'd be something you, you guys would be interested in me doing. But, um, but, Anyways, uh, let's get into the Cruella review. So Cruella is, of course, the origin story of Cruella de Vil, uh, the, of the villain character from, uh, from 101 Dalmatians, and starring Emma Stone, and it shows her becoming basically a, a fashion designer. She wants to be a fashion designer, and uh, she eventually gets her that opportunity, and uh, she gets to work for, I forget the name of the character played by Emma Thompson's character, but gets to work under her wing, and eventually learn some dark secrets, and eventually she starts to become the Cruella that we all know and love. Um, now, uh, going into it, I was actually kind of excited because the trailer actually looked fairly diff fairly different from any Disney film. Uh, from in terms of live action reimaginations, it seemed fairly different. It didn't seem like it was trying to toy too close to the source material. It seemed like it was actually, in essence, trying to be a reimagination, not a remake. Um, and uh, I unfortunately uh, decided to do the premiere access, so pay thirty dollars. Uh, yeah, um, but uh, I paid for it and I watched it. And uh, while it is certainly not worth thirty dollars, it's a decent time. Um, there are some good things to be had about this film. One thing in particular, Emma Stone. She is the best part of the movie, I would say. Uh, she is fully committed, uh, completely charismatic and full of charm, and lots of personality to really drive the story forward. And you're really invested in the character. I found myself very interested in both Estella and Cruella, and I found that the distinction between the two was also quite uh, distinct, uh, all due to Emma Stone's performance. Um, and I would say the same for the rest of the cast. I thought particularly uh, Paul Walter Hauser was pretty fun. I enjoyed his presence on screen a lot. Emma Thompson was good, but I was I would say that my two favorites were Emma Stone and Paul Walter ha uh, Hauser. For, for they were my two particular favorites in the film. Um, the other quite uh, good uh, the other quite good aspect of, of Cruella is the costumes. They're quite dazzling and uh, quite expressive, I would say. There's a lot of uh, different variety of colors and, and, and changes in fashion. And like there's some of them that are completely punk rock because this also takes place within the punk rock era, um, the 70s, and um, like a lot of designs that are uh, quite quite uh, uh, quite obviously meant to represent punk punk rock era, and then a lot more fashionable designs. Um, I love the different varying of of costume designs, and all of them just in essence looked pretty and visually interesting to look at, um, and. Um, I also liked mostly the story. I, I think the story for mostly was handled fairly well. It was a story that was expected, but for the the just the energy that was given to it, I found myself having fun with it. The issue that I do find though in the film is the story, more or less in its presence. It does stay uh, too long. It overstays its welcome. Um, at one point, I found that I found myself saying, "Okay, this is where the film will end," but then it goes on for another 20 or so minutes. And while I didn't hate those extra 20 minutes, I noticed my my viewing experience was starting to drag a little bit because of that extra 20 minutes that was patched on. Um, and I wish the film was a little shorter um, because my in, in, my energy level and enjoyment for the film started to deteriorate a little bit and got a little tiresome, to be honest. But um, but, uh, I did find myself enjoying this film, though. I, I think that it's a, it's a decent 
Disney film for what it is. I mean, I mean, it isn't the greatest of the Disney reimaginations. I still give that credit to like Pete's Dragon and the Jungle Book, but um, though it isn't one of the greatest ones, it's still charming. It has lots of wit and spirit, and through a lot of a lot of its expressive costumes, a charismatic Emma Stone. I'd also give that credit also to Paul Walter Hazer, um, or Hauser, and a engaging narrative uh, mostly. Uh, creates a satisfying experience, even if it does overstay its welcome towards the end. So, is it worth thirty dollars? No, I would not say pay thirty dollars on Disney Plus. Go watch it in the theater, pay a lesser price for this. But in general, no matter where you see it, um, I, I'd still lean more towards the theater, just so you don't have to pay the absurd price on Disney Plus. Um, for what you are getting with Cruella, it's a fun, it's a fun time. It's not. Um, it's not a like an absolutely great uh, uh, film um, or anything above like Pete's Dragon or the Jungle Book, but it is a a solid experience. It does overstay its welcome though. It does drag on a little bit, but for what I was looking for, I got pretty much what I wanted with Cruella. It's a decent origin that had, albeit a a little bit of a new wrinkle, a little bit of a new tone there and there um, for a Disney film. Um, it still maintained the heart of what a Disney film is, especially within the vein of what Cruella represents and also just the context of Cruella and, you know, keeping in, in essence the, the core of the Cruella developed character. I felt that the, that the film maintained it and was able to bring some interesting ideas to, this, to the film about Cruella's identity and her personality. I just found it to be interesting and enjoyable. Um, but it does stay a little longer than I would want it to, but at the end of the day, I think it's a fun time. And please go to the theater. Don't pay $30 for it. It's a fun time, but not worth $30.